Hi everyone, welcome back to another practice. It is a really early morning for me today. I'm just freshly out of bed, as you can tell. It's still dark outside. We are back to dark mornings, which I'll be honest, I'm not too happy about. But I do have my photography lighting, so that's why the lighting's a little bit funny, but I hope it doesn't affect your practice at all. So when you're ready, we are gonna start today in just a tabletop position. So grab anything you need and let's get started. So coming into your tabletop position, just bring your hands under your shoulders. And then from there, just bring your big toes together. Begin to take your knees nice and wide towards the long edges of the mat. Take an inhale, press the floor away. And then exhale, bring your bum to your heels and make your way into child's pose. And once you're in child's pose, maybe just rock a little bit from side to side, maybe roll the forehead left to right, just kind of ease your way in. And then only when you feel ready, just find a moment of stillness. And once you've found stillness, just allow the body to completely fall, just let the earth receive you. And then once you feel soft and settled, just notice how you're feeling. In the physical body, notice the areas that you might be able to feel some stretch, some openness. Maybe through the lower part of the body, the hips, the groin, and see if you can just release and let go of those parts of the body a little bit more. And then once you feel that you've arrived and that you're soft and settled, just take a moment to take your awareness to the lower part of the body, the area of the hips, the groin, the inner thighs and hamstrings. Notice how they're feeling, notice if there's any stretch. Notice if you can soften them and let them become heavier, released down towards the mat. And this is the part of the body that is related to the sacral chakra or Svadhisthana in Sanskrit. And this is the energy center said to be about our creativity, fluidity, sexuality. And it's also said to be the area that is the seat of our emotions. Which for some of us, when we practice lots of hip openers, it might be a sense of release for our emotions. It's not the case for everyone, but some people. But I want us to work with this today. And I want us to really find that fluidity that water-like energy. So begin to just find your breath here, like the waves of the ocean flowing in through the nose and out of the nose and the mouth. Maybe deepening the breath, lengthening the breath, maybe even switching on your ujjayi breath but allow the breath to not be forced, but to just flow with ease in and out of the body. And then keeping the eyes closed if you can. 
Take an inhale, press into the palms, straighten the arms. And then as you exhale, rise all the way up into a tabletop position. Bring your hands under your shoulders, your knees underneath your hips, still with the eyes closed if that's comfortable. Spread and press through the fingertips. And then from here, I want you to just begin to move around. So maybe that's moving through traditional cat cows. Maybe that's circling into the hips, getting the upper body involved. But with your eyes closed, just begin to move in any way that the body wants you to move. Tuning into how it is you're feeling, what it is you need from today's practice, what it is you can leave behind. Really, really nice. And then when you feel ready, come back to center, back to your traditional tabletop. On an inhale, go ahead and tuck your toes under. And then exhale, just lift your hips up and back. Come into your first downward dog. Same as before here, just begin to pedal out through the legs, shaking the hips, shaking the head, just moving in any way that feels good and really just tune into that creativity, that fluidity, maybe do something you wouldn't usually do. And then when you're ready, find stillness, relax the shoulders, relax the ankles. On your next inhale, go ahead and wave forwards, come to high plank, shoulders above the wrists. And then as you exhale, little bend in the knees, lift the chin and just wave it back into your down dog. So like the waves of the ocean, as you inhale, ripple forwards, find that high plank. And then exhale, wave it back into down dog. Inhale, roll forwards, really ripple through the spine, high plank. And then exhale, wave it back into your downward facing dog. One more time here, inhale, roll forwards to high plank. Now this time as you exhale, drop your knees, chest and hips forwards, lower yourself slowly down to the belly. Untuck your toes, inhale for your first cobra, wave it up, lift the chest. And then exhale, tuck your toes, lift up and back into your downward dog. Take a full breath in. And a slow breath out. Lovely. On your next inhale, raise your right leg to the sky. As you exhale, bend your right knee, open up across the hip. Try to relax the left heel. The left knee can be bent, but really, really draw that right heel towards the glutes to stretch through the front of the thigh. Take a full inhale, press the arms into the mat. And then as you exhale, draw your right knee towards your right elbow or armpit. So you're drawing it super high, super wide, beginning to also fire up through the belly and the arms. Perfect. Take an inhale, re-extend the right leg up and back. Exhale, right knee, right elbow or armpit again. Draw the core in. Inhale, send it high. Reach, reach, reach. And then one more time. Exhale, right knee, right armpit. This time, hold. Take an inhale, press down through the fingertips. And then exhale, step your right foot to the outside of the right hand. Come up onto your fingertips. Go ahead and drop your left knee down. On an inhale, pull the heart forward. Sink down into the hips. And then exhale, straighten the right leg. Find your half split variation. Twice more like that with the breath. Inhale, flow forwards, lift up, open up. Exhale, straighten and fold down. Inhale, bend into it, lift open through the front body. 
and then exhale straighten the right leg forward fold this time just hold it here take an extra breath in through the nose and exhale just soften perfect as you inhale look forwards re-bend into the front knee and then exhale just place your palms flat tuck your left toes under lift your left knee up and then turn your back heel flat from here begin to walk your hands all the way towards the left foot coming into your side lunge bend the left knee straighten the right leg maybe you're halfway down maybe you're all the way down but really just flex through that right foot find that nice deep opening across the right hamstring hands to floor hands to heart maybe choose to open the arms just one full inhale here and then exhale, release the hands to the mat. Look to the back of the mat, walk yourself around, framing that left foot. Inhale, step back to high plank. And then exhale, lower all the way down to the belly. Knees can be up or down. Untuck your toes, inhale for cobra, opening through the chest. And then exhale, tuck your toes, lift up and back, downward facing dog. Beautiful. As you inhale, raise your left leg high. Exhale, bend the left knee. Go ahead and open up across the hip. Again, try to soften into it. Beautiful. Take an inhale. And then exhale, left knee, left elbow or armpit as high and as wide as feels okay. Inhale, left leg extends back. Exhale, knee to armpit, squeeze it in. Inhale, left leg extends back. And then exhale, left knee, left armpit, this time hold. Keep pressing down into the hands, take an inhale. And then exhale, step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Drop the right knee down, pop up onto your fingertips. As you inhale, pull the heart forwards, open up across the chest. And as you exhale, straighten the left leg, bow the forehead down to the mat. Twice more, inhale, find that flow of breath as it drives you forward. Exhale, straighten the leg as you fold in. One more time, inhale, bend and lift, open up. And then exhale, straighten the leg, forward fold. This time just holding for an extra breath. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhale, look forwards. Rebend the left knee and then exhale, just place the palms flat. Tuck your right toes under, lift your right knee, turn the back heel flat and then begin to walk your hands all the way towards that right foot, bending the right knee, straightening the left leg for your side lunge. Hands to floor, hands to heart, again maybe choose to just open the arms. Just take a full breath in here and then exhale, release the hands to the floor if they're not. Walk yourself around, frame your right foot inhale plank pose step back this time exhale either halfway or all the way down to the belly inhaling cobra maybe up dog lifting the thighs and then exhale lift up and back downward facing dog inhale through the nose and exhale Inhale, raise heels, look forwards. Exhale, slowly walk all the way to the front of the mat. Bring your big toes together. Inhale, hands to shins, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, circle the arms up to standing, reach up, press the palms. Exhale, pull your hands to your heart and just allow your eyes to close. Take an, an inhale through the nose. And an exhale through the mouth. Allowing your body and your breath to be your guide. Moving with ease, fluidity 
and respecting and honoring what it is you need in each and every moment. Let the eyes flicker open. Inhale, raise your prayer to the sky, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward fold like a wave, follow the breath down towards the mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, hands down, step or hop back, lower down, either chaturanga or the floor. Inhaling, opening up into your up dog. Exhaling into downward facing dog. Inhale through the nose. Exhale, try to soften. Inhale, raise your heels, look up. Exhale, bend the knees, step or hop the feet between the thumbs. Inhale to flat back. Exhale to forward fold. Inhale, circle the arms all the way up, press the palms. Exhale, refold right back down, follow the breath to the bottom. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, step or jump back, lower down or all the way or halfway, sorry. Inhaling up dog or cobra. And exhaling into your downward facing dog. Full breath in. And full breath out. Inhale, raise your right leg high to the sky. Exhale, draw the right knee towards the chest. And then step the right foot forwards between the thumbs. Turn the back heel flat. Inhale, cart all the arms open into warrior two. As you exhale, just bend into it, softening through the shoulders. Just feel the hips begin to open as you draw the right knee forwards. Breath in. And breath out. On your next inhale, flip the palm, reverse your warrior. And as you exhale, side angle, right forearm to thigh, right hands to block or floor. Left arm reaches over the air. Really, really bend your knee and really press down through each foot. Beautiful. As you inhale, rise all the way back up. Warrior two. As you exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Lift your left heel, turn your left heel in, and then bend into your side, into your goddess even. Sit the hips nice and low. Maybe for this first round, take your hands to your thighs and just begin to kind of wiggle your way into it, just noticing if you're feeling tight here. Notice if this feels really good. I would love to know if any of you actually love this pose. I find it super tricky. Lots of mental focus and energy needed. Perfect. And then when you're ready, come back to center. Bring your hands to your heart. Lower the tailbone down. Take an inhale. And an exhale. Beautiful. As you inhale, straighten the arms and the legs reach up. As you exhale, turn 10 toes forwards and then swan dive forwards and down into your forward fold. Let the crown of the head release. Let the hamstrings open. Breath in. Breath out. And inhale, halfway lift. Look forwards. Exhale, turn your right toes forwards. Walk your hands to the big toe edge of the right foot, coming back to lizard lunge. Walk the right foot over to the right corner of the mat, hands underneath the shoulders. And then as you inhale, lift the chin, lift the chest, look up. And as you exhale, step the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Bend your knees, come down into your malasana. Maybe you can't come all the way down. Maybe you're on tiptoes, that's okay. And then for, from here, bring the elbows together, bring the hands together. So it looks a little bit funky, but I want you to use your legs, use your hips to open the knees. So instead of pressing the elbows against them, naturally press the little, the knees, sorry, towards the little toe edges of the feet. So you're using your strength to do so. 
perfect now try to lift up through the chest and then from here using your strength in your legs as you inhale press to straighten the legs send your arms to the sky look up and as you exhale follow the breath come all the way back down so soft yet powerful movements inhale straighten the legs rise up exhale bring it all the way back down one more time here inhale straighten the legs rise up and then exhale straight bends the knees come all the way back down inhale bring your hands to the floor exhale from here step or jump back to high plank either lower chaturanga or lower to the belly inhaling cobra or upward facing dog exhale up and back downward facing dog Inhale through the nose. And big sigh, exhale, let it go. Inhale, sweep your left leg high. Exhale, left knee to the chest. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And then step the left foot forwards. Turn the back heel flat. Inhale, cartwheel open into warrior two. And exhale, bend into it. Good, and then once you find the stillness in your poses, see if you can still find that water-like motion with the flow of the breath. Just breathing in. Breathing out. And on your next inhale, flip the palm, reverse your warrior. And then as you exhale, extended side angle, left forearm to thigh, hands to block or floor, right arm reaches over the ear. And again, finds the flow with the breath, although you're in stillness. Amazing. On your next inhale, rise back to warrior two. Exhale, bring your hands to your heart. Lift your back heel, turn it in, and then bend back into your goddess pose. Really, really go down into it this time, maybe feeling a little bit more open. Beautiful. And then this time, let's inhale, straighten the arms and the legs, reach your prayer to the sky. And as you exhale, bend your knees, come back down into it. Again, inhale, raise your art prayer, straighten the legs. Exhale, bend the knees, come down. One more, inhale, straighten the arms, straighten the legs. And then exhale, come back down into it. Perfect, hold it here for an inhale. And exhale. Inhale, straighten the arms and the legs. This time, exhale, turn 10 toes forwards, and then swan dive forwards and down into your forward fold. Relax the crown of the head, let yourself just release. Inhaling. And exhaling. Inhale, straighten the arms, look up. Exhale, turn your left toes forwards, walk yourself into lizard lunge, so bending into the left knee, hands to the big toe edge of the foot. Walk the left foot over to the left, inhale, lift, open up through the chest. Exhale, step the right foot to the outside of the right hand. Bend your knees, come all the way down into your malasana. This time, maybe hands to heart, elbows to inside of knees. Maybe wiggle around a little bit side to side. Really, really nice. And then if you found that kind of movement, let's find stillness again. Pressing through the feet, using the breath to take us there. Inhale, straighten the legs and the arms. Send your prayer to the sky. Exhale, bring that energy back down into Malasana. Twice more, inhale, straighten the arms, reach up. Exhale, bend back into it, come down. One more time, inhale, straighten, reach up. Exhale, come back down into it. Inhale, hands to the floor. 
Exhale, either step back or jump back to high plank. And then lower either Chaturanga or the floor. Inhaling Cobra or Up Dog. Exhaling Downward Facing Dog. Take a full breath in. And a big sigh, let it go. Inhale, sweep your right leg to the sky. Exhale, step your right foot forwards between the hands. Stay on the ball of the back foot this time. Little bend into the back knee. Inhale, rise to crescent lunge. Bend into it, soften the shoulders. Tailbones long, breath in. And breath out. Lovely. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Draw the left knee into the chest. Good. Flex your left foot. Bend your right knee. Place the left ankle on top of the knee. Once you're there, send the bum back of the chest forwards. Maybe if you need a wall, you can use a wall. But really just try to find the stretch through the outer left hip. And if you can go lower, elbow to knee, knee to elbow. Really bending that right leg. Breathing in. Breathing out. Amazing. As you inhale, straighten the right leg. Send your arms to the sky, left knee to the chest. Now from here, as you exhale, half moon pose. So begin to open the left knee to the left. As the right arm comes to the floor and you straighten the left leg towards the back of the room. Really super hard transition. If you're wobbling everywhere, that's fine. If you have a block, that's a really good option. Once you're in, flex the left foot. Turn open through the chest. Breathing in. Breathing out, really, really nice. Take one more inhale. And then as you exhale, bend the right knee, step the left foot to the back of the mat, coming into warrior two. Take an inhale in warrior two. And then exhale, cartwheel the left hand down, right arm to the sky, coming into your easy twist. From here, either stay or pivot to the little toe edge of the left foot. Step the right foot back, come into your side plank. Press the hips forwards and up, really bend, straightening, sorry, through that left hand. Take an inhale and an exhale. Take one more in breath. And then exhale, left hand, right hand, toes down. And then either down dog or lower chaturanga. Inhaling cobra or upward, exhaling downward facing dog. Beautiful, inhale and exhale. Last side like this, inhale the left leg to the sky. Exhale, left foot steps forwards and then inhale high crescent lunge. Really bend into the left knee, but maybe as a little bend into the right knee, just so you can lengthen the tailbone and give yourself a deeper stretch through the hip flexor. Beautiful. Breath in. Breath out. Lovely. Take one more inhale here. As you exhale, pull the hands to the heart. Draw the right knee into the chest. Flex the right foot, bend the left knee, right ankle on top. And then either stay upright or begin to send your bum back, chest forwards, as you fold into your variation. Sorry, I don't know that one. Thanks, Alexa. <laughs> Good. And once you're there, just really, really think about extending the spine, finding your stretch. Breathing in. Breathing out. Amazing. Let's inhale, straighten that left leg, arms up, right knee to the chest. And then again, finding your half moon, begin to rotate the hip open towards the right. 
As you send the right leg behind you, the left arm comes down. If you're wobbling, if you need a wall, go for it. Making your way to Ardha Chandrasana, half moon. Beautiful. And once you're there, try to find that sense of balance. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, warrior two bends the left knee, step the right foot to the back of the mat. Come up into it, bend into that front knee. Take one more in breath here. And then exhale, easy twist, cartwheel the right hand down, left arm to the sky. And then from here, either stay or find your side plank. So pivot to the little toe edge of the back foot, send that right left arm, sorry, up to the sky. Breathing. Amazing, take one more inhale. And then exhale, left hand, left toes down, either down dog or move free your vinyasa. We'll meet in downward facing dog. And once you arrive, just take a full inhale. And a big sigh, exhale. Inhale, look forwards. Exhale, drop your knees. Push your bump to your heels. Come back into your child's pose. And just take a moment to settle back into the body, back into the breath. And just notice how you're feeling after all of those dynamic movements. The fluidity of the breath. And keeping the eyes closed, just slowly tuck your chin to your chest. Slide your hands towards your knees, coming into an upright kneeling position. Shoulders are soft. Let's together just take a breath in through the nose. And then exhale through the mouth. Inhale, send your arms forwards and up to the sky. As you exhale, just twist to the right. Place the right hand to, sorry, left hand to the outside of the right knee. Right hand behind you, just looking over that right shoulder. Lovely. As you inhale, reach both arms forwards and up. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, reach the arms forwards and up. And then exhale, pull your hands to your heart. Drop the chin to the chest and just let the eyes closed if they're not. Thank yourself for showing up today. And allow yourself to take this fluidity, creativity and ease with you off of the yoga mat into the rest of your day into the rest of your week and, and ultimately into your everyday life. Thank you so much for joining me and allowing me to be your guide today. Namaste everyone. Thank you so much for showing up, for giving it a go and uh, for joining me in today's practice. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to leave me a comment, leave me a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you next week for another video.